Hi everybody, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily reading for Wednesday, January 31st. This is your daily vibes for all signs. I'm going to use these decks that you see here. I just think it's really important to shuffle, so just bear with me. It's important to shuffle in front of the camera. That's my my thing. I don't care what anybody else does. That one wants to come. Prince of Wands. So it's a day of excitement, perhaps. Many of you may be feeling excited. Um, exuberant. You may have a lot of energy, full of passion, full of... Uh, Oh, I can't think of the words. It's like uh, shit and vinegar. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. This is, uh, it's also time for you to act on your hunches and move forward, okay? Um, you could be receiving an exciting message, perhaps. So we also have the Tower and the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So it appears that there could be some type of disruption. There could be some kind of breakdown or crash that comes rolling on in. Um, and it could be caused from your impulsiveness. So just beware. Just try to make really good decisions today. Try not to jump on anything. Think twice, okay? Really think twice. I see that there's a lot of excitement, but... You know, sometimes when you don't think, something can happen. So remember to think twice today. Um, when the tower comes out in a reading, it's really not a bad thing. Many people think it is, but it's actually a blessing in disguise. There is something that needs to break apart, that needs to fall apart in order for you to go down the right path. So whatever is happening is happening to bring security and stability to your life. Okay? There is a, a, um, a feeling of uh, removing something. Something is being removed from your life that doesn't serve you so that you can become um, secure and stable again, okay? Because with this Queen of Pentacles, this is somebody who is very practical, loyal, um, responsible, down-to-earth, motherly, caring, nurturing, kind, you know, so I feel like this is, this, this tower moment that comes into your life is, is bringing you more stability, believe it or not, okay, I know some, for some of you that's hard to believe, but it is what it is, um, It is, a, it is an excitement day. It's a day of excitement. It's a day of uh, perhaps passion. I'm not sure with that Prince of Wands. It can mean so many things. There's, it's a day of wanting to tell the world what you can do or show the world what you can do. Um, you uh, There's a lot of eagerness here, eagerness for change. Um, it's like you're accepting some sort of dare. You may be feeling daring or ready to take a risk. And I just want to tell you to think twice because we do have the tower here. Remember, remember to do the practical thing rather than the, you know, impulsive thing. So here we have impulsive. Here we have practical. You're really going to have to weigh your decision. Okay. We're going to put this card right here. We are going to stay with the Whispers of Love because that's what I grabbed. I'm going to read this Reach Out card. We know you're reaching out right now for help to a current situation. Support is as much about the physical act of accepting help where offered as it is about the emotional benefits and learning that is that it's truly okay to accept support however it is presented to you. 
Yeah, many of you guys have been reaching out. You have. This card and many other decks, he's like screaming to the universe, okay? He's hollering to the universe. So, in many other decks. So, as he's hollering, he's, 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 he's begging, he's manifesting, he's talking, you know, he's, he's, um, shouting to the universe what he desires and having faith. Okay, so I feel like many of you have been reaching out. The universe, I often call the tower card the universe. Many other readers, it's the, it's the world card. But refer, for me, it's the world and the tower. So when this comes out, it's like the universe has heard you reach out. And they are going to remove something from your life that doesn't serve you. So that you can go back to the stable and secure and practical um, means that you need. Love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. Love makes the difference. We're going to get one more card. Perhaps there's new love, okay, for some of you, right on top of this. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could be anybody that has this in their, um, you know, sun, moon, rising, Venus, whatever. But it, it appears that perhaps there could be a love, could be a, a fire sign as well. Again, sun, moon, and rising. Um, we also have Scorpio here. But anyhow, um, perhaps there's a love that helps you to heal. Just consider that, okay? Ooh, make the effort. Let me zoom this in. Oh, it looks pretty good. So this makes good sense. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. I feel like many of you have been wishing, you've been calling. It's kind of like calling in your soulmate, but calling to the universe, your wishes, your dreams, your desires. And because you have been reaching out to the universe, they're bringing you what you want, even though they may be bringing you what you want through some kind of upheaval, it's a blessing in disguise. Because you have made the effort to reach out, they are bringing you what you desire. Perhaps it's the love of your life. Perhaps it's a renewed love for whoever you're with. It feels as though things are starting to feel more secure. They will be getting more secure, more stable, um, more practical, okay? The more practical people are coming into your life because you have reached out for help. That's what I see. You guys have made the effort, and now the universe is making an effort as well. Because we have, I consider this the universe, like I said. The universe is now making the effort on your behalf, okay? Because you have reached out, because you have asked, okay? Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. And now the universe is reciprocating. And that's what I have for today.